good morning all right so we're gonna try something just a little bit different today so I love filming I'm really really trying hard to do things a little more different and being a little more mindful about sorry I'm a little off frame there oh okay so now you can kind of see me um but I just want to be a little bit more mindful about uh, filming and just remembering to pull the camera out when I'm doing things. So what I'm going to attempt to do today is kind of a day in the life. Um, you, you guys have seen like little snips of here and there and things that I do. But I'm going to attempt to do a full day um, and put this together for you guys. Sorry, uh, it's it's early. I've only been up for about 15 minutes. Uh, Chase just left for work. Um, he's got a really, really, really busy day today. Um, he's having to make up from all of the bad weather that we've been having. So he's got basically three days worth of work that he's attempting to get done today. Um, that way he doesn't have to work the weekend, but he may have to. Um, so he got an early start this morning, and so did I. Um, normally, uh, I'd say normally I get up about an hour from now, but anyway, it's not going to hurt uh, to get a little bit of an early start. Um, but yeah, I wanted to just kind of film and um, let you guys follow along with me and just kind of see what a day looks like. So right now it is about 7 a.m. Like I said, he just left for work and unfortunately he's having to go try to fit all that in and honestly like the ground's not even ready for him to start working because it is so saturated so I hope that he doesn't have any problems. If he was not behind, if we had not had days and days and days of rain now, if he was not behind, he normally would have waited a little further into the day to have started just to kind of let the ground dry out just a little bit more. Um, let the sun have a chance to come out and kind of dry it up some, but he's just got way too much to do today to have waited. So um, yeah, he's already on the road. And now it is uh, time for me and Mr. Elvis. You can see him down here. There he is. Elvis. Elvis. There he is. <laughs> um, we're about to get the day started. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys you know, if you watch my videos on the regular, I'm not about to get all dolled up just to work around the house and um, I'm not going to waste my time or my money to primp up um, but I do feel like here lately I've been looking kind of extra rough but it is what it is um, I'm not on here to you know impress people with my appearance or to try to seem like I am something that I'm not and it just is what it is I'd say 90% of the time I do not wear makeup. I love makeup and when I do wear makeup, you know, I really enjoy it. But again, I'm not wasting my time in the morning nor am I wasting my money on the extra makeup to put makeup on every day just to work around the house. I'm not doing it. So just ignore the appearance, but you guys already know. You watch my videos. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to drink this and try to uh, figure out what I want to do to start my day. I know I need to get my morning rotation of tumblers going, but like you've seen in the last few videos, my um, fourth, yeah, fourth tumbler turner, yeah, my fourth turner is making all kinds of noise like all kinds of noise so it's really really bad and it makes it really hard to film so i might go ahead and do my test and if you guys thought i was kidding 
about my um my syrups and my um sorry i suck at this vlogging thing i was trying to straighten this back out hold on here is my coffee bar and as you guys can see i've got a whole bunch of those syrups because i love them and they really do make everything um so much better and like you can add them into anything this lighting is terrible ignore it um but you can pretty much add them to anything like you can use them in baking and oatmeals and um like all kinds of drinks we put them in tea we put them in milk uh, anything that you want to flavor without adding calories or extra like refined sugar um you can do it with these it's, it's great you know, let's see there zero calories zero sugar zero carb we love them all right um i guess let's go get ready to take the test right quick so we can then start our tumblers without having to worry about trying to film over the top of the sound. All right, so we are in, let's see if I can get adjusted there. We are in my normal little closet spot. Don't ask me why I started filming in front of the closet. It just kind of seemed like, honestly, it's like the place in my room that's always clear. <laughs> in front of it because I have to be able to open my closet doors and right now it's not even clear in front of it. I've actually got packing materials, like shipping materials um, in front of it beside me. So yeah, um, definitely nothing perfect over this way but you know what, it's okay. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and dip this test. So we've got, you know, the usual suspects, Mom Med, Amazon Cheapy. We're going to go ahead and move the little packet. And you guys can see that it's running across. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and, you know, you guys already know. That one is also running across. All right, I think... Yeah, I think we should be able to look at the first one. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get this off my camera, get in focus. All right, you guys, this is going to be 12 DPO. If this isn't it, you guys, we will still test tomorrow if I don't start, which I shouldn't start. Um, I shouldn't start until like Sunday, but Sunday or Monday. But anyway, alright, let's look. Let's look, let's look. Alright, and in the viewfinder that looks negative. Let's see. Yep, and in person that also looks negative. And I always like to sit there and look at it for a second hoping that maybe, you know, I'm just being blind and there's a line there and I just can't see it and I don't know why I do that. But yeah, nothing. Um, right in here we go with the pre-mom, focus, and bam, another negative. Alright guys, so I guess that's that for today. Um, it is what it is, it sucks, I'm not gonna lie, like... <laughs> As much as I say I'm not going to let it get to me, it always gets to me, at least a little bit. Um, you know, when you, you want to see that positive so bad, but uh, it just never happens. So, honestly, at this point, it's, it's almost surreal, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like if I were to get a positive, I wouldn't believe it at this point. We're going to get off this subject because I'm starting to upset myself and I'm not trying to ruin my day. I've got a lot to do today and so we're going to go ahead and get started.
All right, guys, so we just got my morning rotation of cups started, and so now we're going to go work down in the soon-to-be workshop. Um, all right, I'm gonna flip y'all around. I'm gonna take a look at some stuff going on here. Got cherry tomato vine. Probably about four foot tall now. That one, I don't know if you can see that big tomato right there. That is Cherokee purple. I've got some beefsteak tomatoes. These are zucchinis. Those are all the other tomato plants. You can see we've got tomatoes all over the place. It's really starting to rain on me. All right, let me go get down to the shop. Okay. Okay, so we made it inside the shop but unfortunately because the rain decided to hit as soon as I was walking down here you probably can't hear me over the rain hitting the roof um, so let's try to do a little bit of a shop tour um, it may be a little bit quieter in here but we'll we'll see all right I'm flipping you back around uh, you can see me we've got my door up yeah, which obviously needs to be clean but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it okay it is dark in here with the light on so this is how the new workshop is going it's a little bit quieter in here because we have a ceiling um so yeah we've got all the walls have their um, sheet rock up the ceiling is now there which is awesome um, we've got all my cabinets and everything that still need to be installed and as you can see we've definitely made some progress from the other day uh, yeah it looks awesome so what I have to do now obviously this light on I'll get it in a minute it's through back through the door when we came in is going to be the office and well as you can see right now it's full of stuff that I've got to go through uh, this table is going to become our shipping table and it's going to go in there so I've got to get all of this stuff cleaned off and yeah I've got to get all of this stuff I know. so I guess I'm just gonna set you guys up over here and work on a little bit of this and then we will head back up to the house for other projects guys so we are back and uh yeah i wasn't able to film a lot of that because um well my husband had to come home uh was not able to complete work at all today because we had a very severe storm come through that is still going as you can probably see out my window here maybe kind of sort of uh yeah so, um, he was not able to pretty much get anything done today, uh, which really sucks because 
he's he's pretty far behind now um but anyway so i was down at the shop and could not even hear myself think because of how loud it was on the tin roof and he called me and said you know he was home and wanted to know if he needed to come down there and get me because I'd walked down there with you know the camera and I uh, did not have an umbrella and uh, I told him yes please come get me so he walked down there with an umbrella and helped me get back up here to the house um, without ruining my camera um, so then come back up here and I guess I'm just gonna work on what I can um, up here in my soon to be former workshop <laughs> just a few more days you guys I'm gonna be up here and then I'll finally be down in the new place um, but yeah so on the agenda now is working on a couple of orders and um, I guess we'll do that till about lunchtime which it is uh, a little bit before 10 now um, so yeah probably the next two hours or so I'm going to work on some orders and then we'll go from there Hey guys all right so it is much much later now um it is actually going on like 10 30. um i filmed a little bit throughout the day and then uh, it's probably i guess a little bit after lunch um my battery died and i put it on charge and just did not touch it the rest of the day um Today has been a lot more challenging than I had expected. Um, I just talked about this in a video um, a day or two ago about kind of 
falling down the rabbit hole when it comes to the whole subject of pregnancy TTC and unfortunately I have done that I um, I've got my YouTube now where on all of my uh, home pages suggested you know things about TTC pregnancy test videos um, things to do with pregnancy such as uh, one born what is it one born every second or something like that or one born every minute I, I don't remember something along those lines I didn't know I was pregnant um, things about like multiples and I, I just a bunch of baby stuff and um, it's it's really got me like depressed um and I can't stop watching it it's like my my heart and my brain just keeps gravitating to that subject it's like I desire a baby so much that like I just filled my entire afternoon with watching videos or listening to videos because I was working as I was, um, as I had YouTube on, um, but on that subject all evening and, um, I just... I don't understand why things are like they are and I'm not just speaking for myself I'm speaking for all women or all couples that struggle with infertility it's unfair it's hard it's unexpected I don't think any of us ever thought um, when we were younger that we would ever be in these situations I definitely did not um, and I apologize if y'all can hear them out there um, they're talking back and forth a little bit loud but, um, but yeah so today's been rough I've kept myself and I <sighs> My husband can always, always sense when something is bothering me, even if, you know, every time he comes around, you know, I try to put a smile on my face and, you know, just try to act completely normal. I must give off some kind of vibe or something because he can sense it and always knows when something is bothering me and all day today he's been like what's what's wrong what's going on you know and I keep telling him oh nothing nothing's wrong I'm fine you know and just kind of trying to change the subject right quick or trying to walk away from him because a couple of times when he asked me I kind of got teary out a little bit um and I don't understand why I'm trying to hide the fact that I'm feeling like this and it's almost like a, I, I guess I'm, I'm trying to hide it because I feel like it's my fault that I'm in this mood and that I'm feeling like this because what I've been watching all evening um, I don't know I just I can't help it um, it's like I want to watch it and I don't want to watch it all at the same time when I'm watching it it's almost like I'm kind of living through them if that makes sense like I, I'm getting to watch these families, you know, going through um, what I want to do and for that brief moment, like kind of feeling like I'm involved with it, if, if that makes sense. I, I sound crazy. Like as I'm saying this, it sounds crazy, but it is what it is. Maybe it's therapeutic to some people. Maybe it's not. Um, I want to watch it, but it breaks my heart. If that, I don't know. I don't know. I just know that um, 
it's just really been hard today. Today's just been a bad day. As much as I keep saying I'm not going to let this ruin my day, I'm not going to let this get me down, I'm going to stay positive. <sighs> It's hard. It's really, it's really hard to stay positive when you're broken. And uh, that's exactly what I am. Like as much as you know, people are saying that you know it just may not be our time. There's something wrong. And of course my phone would go off, but there's something wrong or we wouldn't be having issues. The doctor can't figure out exactly what it is, so it's just this mystery something that is looming over my head and every day when I get on social media it never fails I see a pregnancy announcement I come across videos of pregnancy tests that are positive I watch these shows about people that are having babies and it's just a constant reminder of what I want and a constant rem reminder that I can't have it so I don't really know why I keep putting myself through it um, I just had to get on here and vent. I'm uh, about to go and shower because you know, I'm covered in paint and glitter and it's just kind of get in the shower and honestly I'm probably going to get in the shower and have a good cry and um, go to bed because that's just kind of the mood I'm in. Um, now tomorrow I will be 13 DPO, so I will test again tomorrow, and uh, with it being as late as it is now, I know that today's testing video and tomorrow's testing video will be together, um, so when you guys are seeing this, um, it'll all be in one video. Um, I just figured I would kind of get on here and mention just kind of how I'm feeling. Um, hopefully this is not all in vain. Hopefully this is just still that uphill battle and one day we're going to reach the top of that hill. And uh, until then, I guess I just got to keep on pushing on, but um, I'm not going to lie. Like, at this point, I'm so convinced it's never going to happen. And there's a lot of times, like for example, tomorrow's test, I don't even see the purpose in it. I know, it's like I just know in my heart that if I haven't already seen something, I'm not going to this month, I'm out. And uh, the more and the more that I'm doing this, the longer this continues going on. I mean, it's been years. The more convinced I am that it's just not gonna happen for us. And uh, <sighs> I hate when I have bad nights. I hate. I hate. I hate. I hate. I hate it. I'm trying to learn to be positive, but it is so hard to be positive in this situation. I just have to remind myself I'm blessed. I have family. I have a home. We have food on our table. We're healthy. I'm blessed. Despite the heartbreak that we are going through and that I'm going through, despite these hard times, at the end of the day, I'm blessed. I'm very blessed. <sighs> okay, guys. 
think I'm gonna go shower and get in bed and I will talk to you guys tomorrow.